What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug, and I'm back again with my Ninja Speedy. Therefore, you guys, we're going to make some grilled cheese with some tomato soup. Got some parsley. This is mostly everything that I'm going to need, I believe. Probably leaving out one or two things, but it's okay. All right, guys, let's get it on. We are going to sear and saute some onions, and then we are going to rapid cook everything at once. All right, so let's get it on sear and saute. Yeah, that one. And you're going to let it go for about five minutes, let it heat up, and then we're going to put some butter and onions in there. I'm going to throw my butter and onions in there right now because I'm multitasking. So usually you just wait for five minutes, let it heat up, and then throw it so you hear that sizzle. And while that's warming up, I went ahead and checked my blood sugar. So guys, about two minutes have passed. I threw about, I cut up, I have a stick of butter. I cut like three pieces, put it in there, salted butter, and about one fourth cup of uh, onions. So five minutes have passed. I'm going to go ahead and mix this around. And we're going to cook this for another five minutes. And then I'm going to add some, um, some garlic some minced garlic but you can put garlic powder in there if you want but if you have some mixed minced garlic that would be perfect for this particular recipe man those onions are smelling fantastic so as the onions are cooking down sweating a little bit we're gonna need a half a cup of chicken broth now I'm gonna make my own broth because I have this big old Sam's Club portion of chicken flavor bouillon it's powdered and I love this because you know, I don't have to worry about it expiring and I can use, if I need six cups of broth or a half a cup of broth, I have it. All right, about five minutes have passed. I'm going to go in with some minced garlic. Mix that around. Oh, now we're getting some good aroma in here, man. We're going to let this go for about, I don't know, two minutes. And then we'll put the broth in and then we'll put our crushed uh, tomatoes in. And then we'll take it off of sear and saute. Alright, two minutes have passed. I'm going to hit power, turn it off. Like I said, I'm going to add my broth. And now, I'm going to add 28 ounces of crushed tomatoes. Now, of course, if you're doing this for you know a lot of people you can do two cans of 28 ounces but it's just me so this is more than enough <laughs> I'm gonna throw in some Italian seasoning whatever seasoning you want to add is perfectly fine guys and some of my go-to seasoning which is pink salt black pepper and garlic And when it's done, we're going to give it a taste and then, um, you know, see what else it needs. And lastly, I'm going to add some um, parsley. I didn't chop mine up because I was being lazy, but that's okay. You can chop yours up. <laughs> and give this a mix, guys. And yeah. All right. My air fryer plate in there. By the way, guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's free. I got some bougie bread for you guys today. Nature's Promise Brioche Sliced Bread. Pretty cool. Ooh. Smells good. Feels good, too. Let's be greedy, guys. This is like the, the first piece in there. Let's take a bite. Let's see how it tastes. Oh yeah, this is some good stuff. Guys, it has a sweetness to it. It's really good. I'm whip out my ninja knife, guys, and we're just gonna put some butter on the outside. So we're gonna obviously flip this over when we add the cheese. Oh, yeah, something like that. So we're about to flip them over. And to my viewers and subscribers that are wondering why we put butter on the outside of the bread, is to give it that golden um, effect, you know, when it's done. 
you don't have to. It'll still be you know crunchy, you know if you air fry it long enough. Um, but it won't it won't look like anything. It'll just look pale, <laughs> kind of, <laughs> or I guess burnt. So yeah. Oh, and by the way, you can use mayo. You don't have to use butter. You can use mayo, and no, it won't taste like mayo once it's done. It'll still give it that golden effect as well. So either or. I'm using sharp cheese, whatever cheese you like. I'm going to double slice both of them and call it a day. All right, let's flip that up. And by the way, guys, I did not put the grilled cheese in the machine because I'm going to wait till after the steaming process is done uh, because, you know, I want it to be as crisp as possible. And hopefully we can get both sides done at the same time. I doubt it, but hopefully we can. So anyway, let's get it on. We are going to leave it at speedy meals. I guess I could have did steam and crisp, but nope, I'm doing speedy meals. I'm going to lower the temperature to 360. I'm going to do seven minutes. So it's going to um, air fry in seven minutes. And so... Um, I'm thinking, well now I'll check it of course, I'm thinking it shouldn't take longer than 5-6 minutes. So I'll check it then, and then we'll flip it over to see if it did the other side. If it didn't, then we'll air fry the other side, no big deal. Alright, so to my new viewers and subscribers that are new to this machine, at this moment it is... Um, steaming up the liquid in this machine and that takes about four to five minutes and then after then the countdown will start and then I'll put in my um, grilled cheese sandwiches okay just started so I'm just gonna open it right away put the grilled cheese in close it up and let it continue so now I'm going to check it probably when there's two minutes left we don't want to. We want to make sure it doesn't burn, <laughs> cause we're one take Doug over here. We ain't got time to do this over. Smelling all kinds of good in here, guys. Smelling real good. I think I'm gonna pull it with one minute left. This is what we're working with, guys. Six minutes. Look at that. I'll give you a closer look. could be you now the question I'm sure you want to know is how does the other side look ah nope didn't do it probably because of the steam but that's okay what we can do is do this side for what two three minutes and that should be good Temp, we'll do 400. And we'll drop the time down to, I don't know, four minutes. That's, that's, that should be good. Wow, look at that. So two minutes. I just checked it at two minutes, and that's what we're looking like. I like that. Look at that little design there, too. I ain't mad, Ninja. This out. Let's see. Oh, some of the cheese fell in there. <laughs> Perfect. Give it a mix around. And now we're gonna give it a taste. And we want we don't want to take too long, guys, because we don't want our grilled cheese to get cold. Give it a taste. Everything's good to go, just need a little bit more salt. So I'm gonna put some pink salt in there. And give it a mix, and then we're ready to serve. Oh yeah. Let's get eating, guys. Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. You guys saw the paper towel go up. Means it's time to eat. Let's just see if there's any type of pull going on. Well, probably would have. It's been sitting out for some time. For like four or five minutes. But it is cheesy. Let's get it in there though, guys. You first. You got it? 
Mm. That is so good. That is so good, guys. Mm. This is perfect for a day like this, man. Perfecto. Mm. Let's break open this one. A little better. Of course, you know, fresh deli sliced cheese will give you, you know, that more of that cheese, <clears throat> ooey cheesy effect. Mm. Guys, you got to try this. It's just too good. All right, last bite for you guys. You got it? Mm. And with the rest of my tomato soup, what I'm going to do is um, air fry up these tortillas, these low-carb tortillas. And then cut them into like triangles. And then just dip it in there and eat it. Well, that was fun. Taste was absolutely fantastic. This experiment was a success. Now, is this the ideal way to make it? Not necessarily. But you know what? If you needed to make two uh, grilled cheese sandwiches, hey, and you want to do it all in one machine, there you go. So I'll leave everything I did in the uh, description so you can follow along. And of course, I'll leave a link in the description to this Ninja Speedy because it's absolutely fantastic, as you can see. And in the comments, I'll leave a link to all of my Ninja Speedy specific videos. And we're over 30. I have over 30 specific Ninja Speedy videos. I'm sure you'll find two to three of them useful, if not a dozen. So definitely check that out. I'll pin that in the comments. Other than that, hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video. It's Cooking with Doug. I'm out.